welcome back to the channel. Yes, you know where you at, Deb Chanel's 48th World. Where we get down and we talk about the get downs of whatever we want to talk about. Whatever I have on the program to discuss. Okay, I bring it on down to my YouTube channel and talk to the fam about it. Okay, I'm back on Nene Leaks again. Yes, I am. I'm back on Nene Leaks. Because she is the gift that keeps giving with all of her mess, mess, mess. Okay. Now, of course she says she is selling her house because Greg wanted her to. He wanted her to move on with her life. And I was thinking to myself, by myself, <sighs> that really don't make no sense. It really don't make no sense. Did her and Greg have a good life together? Of course. Did they get divorced? Of course. I always thought the divorce was kind of premature. And I always really thought that it was because of some financial things that Gregory Leakes was going through. And with them being married, some of that mess that Greg got himself into, money-wise, would have had to come from Nini's savings or investments because they were married. You know how the old saying go? When you hook together with somebody financially, whatever they go and get themselves into, y'all both pretty much gets into it, even though you ain't have nothing to do with it. So that's is my belief on why I felt Nini got divorced from Greg. And then when everything kind of got together, copacetically, cohesively, where he was out there danger of creditors coming and taking things away from him or the IRS coming and seizing things from him. They got it all straightened out. So, why not get back together? There was no love really lost. They had really become best friends to where probably sex wasn't even a thing that they would get down and do with each other unless they wanted to you know what i'm saying it probably wasn't an everyday occurrence and they were just very comfortable with each other they probably finished each other's sentences you know <sighs> but nene wasn't necessarily that happy you know what i'm saying and it was out in the blogs of course out in the streets that greg had had a little fail with one of her workers at one of her shops, clothing uh, stores she had. And, you know, Nene handled it in her own fashion and got rid of the manager and pretty much was mad at Greg for a while. And as we saw some things transpired, you know, she started doing a little things herself. Okay, and people caught eye of that in the streets, and they started trying to bring it back when she was on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't know if she was a friend at the time, or whether she had really still held her peach. But there was some stories on her that she was creeping down on the low low with some man in Baltimore. Okay, and I've definitely gave y'all pictures. To see the particular gentleman, allegedly, that she was messing around with, meeting up with, hanging out with in Las Vegas. I know y'all remember those stories way back when. So, this whole thing with, oh, Greg wants me to move on with my life. Or we or they may have it disgusted. That's the young man that she's supposed to be fooling around with. Okay, in Baltimore. Okay. Don't know what really happened. Maybe the fire died. Or maybe Greg was like, You need to come on back home. Before I start telling everything. And then maybe it was just a fling she was having with this young man. Child, I don't know. I don't even think Nene knew at the time. Because I know it was this one man when she called herself going through a divorce. He had got the divorce. She started dating some kind of Italian man. And he called himself liking her. But 
I think he was moving too fast for Nene. That's what I thought. Because she kind of looked a little uneasy with taping with him. Because he really was touchy-feely, if you know what I mean. And he was definitely wooing. This is the man I'm referring to. I know y'all remember that. I don't know what season it was. But he was trying to give Nene everything. But he wanted some things in return. Okay. That money can buy some time. Ask Marlo Hampton. She was an escort, allegedly. Sometimes way, way, way back when. And she used to date only Caucasian men. Okay. But now Nene was trying to mess with this man. I think he had. Well, I don't think this is the man. I don't know who this was. But I just couldn't resist the picture and put it up there. So you say. Nene trying to hang with the. She's trying to get the swirl on. And there ain't nothing wrong with the swirl. Okay. I contemplated it myself sometime too. But. Never met one in that race. That really made my hair stand up. In a good way if you know what I mean. The one that want to make you lift up one of them legs when you kiss. Okay. But never say never. I don't know what the Lord may bless me with. Down the road. But Nene had been seen with quite a few gentlemen. That weren't on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I showed them. That was one previous one. I don't know who that guy was. Um, but she, I'm just trying to understand why she's trying to put everything on Greg. Greg wanted me to sell this house. He wanted me to move on with my life and all of this stuff. And I'm like, really? Really? Or is it Nene? You can't afford that house no more. And you probably couldn't afford it with Greg being alive as well. Okay? It probably was a struggle. That's why I understand why. People go buy all these big luxury homes and they don't have family to fill all those rooms up with. You know, like Kim Zosiak, I think she did well with having all those kids because I ain't now room empty. I don't even know if she have a guest house. She has so many damn kids. You see what I'm saying? And some coming back and some coming, you know. Coming in, coming out, coming in, coming out. You know, she just loved that. But she filled her whole house up with children. Now, Nene, my understanding, excuse me, it was a five bedroom or six bedroom with seven baths. Okay. You can have never have too many bathrooms. You just have to have somebody to help you clean them. Okay. But it only was Brent, Nene, and her husband. But she bought a six bedroom home. And I don't think she kind of liked it. Guess that, you know, that often. Because she wasn't really in town that uh, long enough to have guests. So I'm like, when you are a part of this music or acting entertainment field, you feel like you got to outdress the Joneses or be halfway over the Joneses to make it seem like you're doing it well and big like you got money and and things of that nature and I'm like did you fall short Nene on that because everybody's watching it ain't none of our business like Kermit the Frog said it ain't none of our business but with you being out here and you constantly stay on social media Telling us about the Lanethia Lounge and all these other prospects you got going on. And, you know, you gifting um, your son Brent with the Lanethia. And one thing came to my mind. Well, okay, does her son have the fortitude and the foreknowledge of running a business? And if not, is she letting him be mentored by someone so that shit don't go in foreclosure or shit don't go out of business and miss no credit. Then I thought, well, okay, maybe Nene, is she having financial problems or some sort? And she's trying to move all her assets out of her name. So in case <coughs> something did happen like that down the road, not putting it on her, but unforeseen circumstances come, they can't take her assets 
Is that what she doing it for? And then again, I thought about, okay, well, if she gave it to Brent, and he's not really ready for that big endeavor, uh, not preparing himself, he's just thinking about the money, 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 but he's not thinking about the taxes, the upkeep of the place, this, that, and the third. So I'm hoping she has a mentor that's walking him through each phase of the restaurant business slash lounge alcohol consumption type you know big scope of things so he can be abreast of everything for us the laws the taxes and everything he needs to be up on point with because if he make one mistake out there they're going to definitely come after him and then what nene gifted him so it's almost like she got to be on point and he got to be on point or they ain't gonna have shit to show that's just how the laws go. And if I'm wrong, y'all correct me in the comments below. So I was just really trying to ascertain what the hell Nene was really saying to us, but not saying to us. You know, like trying to read between the lines. Because most people, and I'm just talking about everyday folks, you know, they go out there, work hard, and make an honest living, and things that nature has nothing to do with the industry. Uh the musicians or the actresses and actors none of that not the entertainment field period but just everyday folks on everyday normal jobs um damn i lost my train i thought where i was going with it <laughs> but basically what is nene trying to say because most people that have spouses uh, or partners or they just living together shacking uh, most people don't move out their houses when their significant other passed away you know and they could have been with them oh forever and a day i mean let's check out priscilla presley she didn't um leave graceland that soon just like greg dropped dead in september and she's selling the house in october and i'm like wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute and it could have been some forethought it could have been some forethought planning uh with hopes that he would get better but during the whole fighting the cancer and going through therapy and this that and the third and then he just finally said forget it fuck it i ain't taking no more treatment it is what it is he went in remission then it came back and then you know they went to plan b but greg probably told her stop living this life take the house sale now i'm just you know just talking above my head you know what i'm saying i do that all the time y'all know that he could have said, don't live your life being stressed out. Sell this house. Get you something small. Because Brett ain't promised to be with you. He want to have his life. He want to do what he want to do. He want to travel. Or he might want to get into entertainment business. Because, you know, he's got the club or the lounge you left to him or gifted him. Um, and, you know, it's just going to be you. So go and get you something. Live where you want to live. And just be happy. Now, he, it's plausible he may have had that conversation with her okay but just speculation you know we can always say what we feel and we don't know unless nene want to come out and just tell us but i was like girl nene if you don't sit your behind down to my greg wanted you to do that it ain't like i said it could be true but i think personally greg knew and she knew before greg even probably got diagnosed with having cancer that that house was just too damn much and then when she started losing jobs here and there they really start feeling the crunch and then when he actually started um you know getting sick and she's having to have to pay out her pocket for his medical expenses and how you know costly that may have been for her it probably took a huge dent in their savings because you know when you are a reality star she even said so herself as well as her other castmates they have to pay for their own insurance um they give you a nice salary but insurance that usually come with normal companies when you work for them and they pay a certain amount and you pay the difference or whatnot how however it is 70 30 80 20 you know how it is 
but since they're in a sense independent contractors they have to take care of everything as far as health insurance and medical benefits insurance on their own because they get paid a nice salary they just have to go and find a good uh health care plan to um help them out which best fits their pocket so i just think a lot of times a lot of people get into the entertainment field and they really don't know what it takes to keep it going even when the contracts are not being renewed even when the um what do you call it the your agents can't find you work and that kind of dries up and you have to find other avenues of making money uh and you know things have to still be um paid for because i don't think nene i'm not sure but i'm only speculating i think she was making nope she was making a mortgage payment she wasn't like downright bought the house out and she just paying taxes every six months or at the end of each year uh calendar year because most of these celebrities they be leasing everything they do and then you don't really find out until after something major don't happen to them and then the truth come out because i'm like why would I want to leave that pretty design of a closet? Why would I want to leave all of that? You know what I'm saying? I can make new memories in that house. Just redecorate it. But like I said, you do have some people that be on the outskirts and be like, I don't want to be here no more. But that's kind of a younger person to me. Saying some little shit like that. When you get old and seasoned, you want to just, you know, capitalize on everything. You want to put everything in lock mode. And if you're still fairly healthy, you know, healthy and you just want to do some things, you can still keep the house. And still, do you know, white, uh, white folks do it all the time. They still, they, they keep their assets. They go buy something else smaller they live in. But they may rent that house out or, or, or whatever they need to do. Do it like an Airbnb uh nrb type situation but they they gonna keep that but then they the ones um more more than likely be buying a lock stock and barrel and I'm, I'm talking about all of them I'm just talking about the ones that are very frugal and they're looking out for their legacy and they want to still look good and be good and you know as they get older they don't want to work as hard as they once did okay but let's get into this article that um u.s weekly had wrote up one of their journalists a miranda swank had put it out her exclusive uh piece she wrote on nini and she titled it nini leaks is selling her atlanta house foreclosure after husband greg yeah okay yeah i don't know if y'all know but i live a simple life and i'm an everyday you know type of normal woman that goes to work every day legally and uh attain a nice paycheck um uh, from my hard work and my chosen field and um I, you know if my spouse died i i wouldn't just up and move you know what i'm saying it'd be a very big transition but i had to think about those things you know where would i want to live you know is this house central to where i work it, do, do i like my community you know there's a whole lot of things of that nature because nini never expressed that she didn't like where she was living she definitely was in a gated community had all the amenities that any person with uh clout and uh, revenue six figures or more could even ask for I'm sure she had very real stooped type rich neighbors okay but i guess that's just not suiting her taste anymore probably not her pocketbook as well but going back to the article it says um moving forward nene leaks listed her atlanta home on the market in hopes of having a fresh start after the death of her late husband greg leaks andy cohen bravo star sent support to nene leaks after greg's death she is selling for closure and to start a new path after greg's death a source exclusively tells us weekly of the 53 year old bravo personality's decisions to sell the residence lots of good memories in the house but also some very heartbreaking moments were left. 
Selling the home is about moving forward with her life. Putting the home up for sale is closing a chapter for the Glee alum who hasn't settled on a new place yet, per the source. Atlanta will always be her home, but it's too early to tell where she's moving, the insider adds. I'm like, Nene, know where she leaving? She might go up there with Wendy Williams in New York. <laughs> or she might go with that lovely man we had plastered on here, uh, which lives in Baltimore, I think. Well, she could be headed to L.A. to spark up some new interest in her career as being an actress. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing holding her down. Her health seems to be in fair condition. And she has no husband to cater to anymore or worry about. Her children are grown, living their best lives. So, you know, she can come see her grandkids here and there. Okay, she can Skype them. But they're not a necessity for her, you know? So... That's just my sidebar, not in this latest article. But she's saying, and that kind of gave you a hint. This insider who's dishing this tea to this outlet. Atlanta will always be her home, is what's stated in the um, article that was written up. So that means she is going to make a transition. Like, she can always come back to Atlanta if she wants to and stay in a hotel if she must. Uh, and, you know. Um, check in on friends and family but I don't think they want to stay here I really don't which I understand why because we are kind of like the black mecca down here and a lot of businesses and a lot of acting opportunities are here in Georgia so I, I don't know I don't know what Nene's plan is and she can always move back yes she can but she just need to get something she can afford with um how the entertainment industry business is it's so flaky you know it's almost like who you know are you in the clique were you down with certain people to do certain things to get certain opportunities if you give my drill okay so i don't know if nini's you know on board with all that but we will see if she starts climbing on ladders we know she done did some small things for some big change okay <coughs> but anyway going back to the article it says the Real Housewives of Atlanta alum listed her home earlier this month for four million. The mansion which she bought in 2015 includes five bedrooms. Okay, I gave her more. So she had five bedrooms, not six. Okay. The mansion which she bought, it has five bedrooms and seven bathrooms. Now I was right about the bathrooms. The actress later renovated the ten thousand dollar square foot space which she shared with Greg to include a walk in closet and a large swimming pool. Okay. U.S. previously confirmed on September 1st that Greg died at age 66 following his battle with stage 3 colon cancer. The pair tied the knot twice, first in 1997 and again in 2013. The first one wasn't for show, but the 2013, I believe, was for show. And they shared one son named Brent. Okay. And it goes on pretty much to say, uh, you know, about Greg's uh, long battle with cancer and everybody wished Nene and her children and her extended family uh, prayers go up for them and may they uh, finally be at peace and at rest with Greg Leakes' passing. Okay, but um, yeah, and it goes back into some old uh, stories where she don't like her dark hair anymore. She wants to be a true golden blonde. That's what she's wanting to do with her hairstyle. Uh, and she has a lot of support still uh, being a part of her since <coughs> uh, Greg's passing. And she's also like most uh, widows or, or anyone that have lost family members. She has good days. She has bad days. <coughs> <coughs> Nothing new under the sun. Everybody faced that in their lifetime with someone or something uh, that's no longer in their plane of existence that they share uh, some sympathy or empathy or just grief period but yeah that's all I had you know what I'm saying I'm like Nene you don't have to put everything for the camera and for press you know what I'm saying if you're moving you're moving you know what I'm saying 
you don't have i mean because you're gonna be closing up a lot of doors you know i gotta have closure on this because this was bad i gotta have closure on that because that was bad i mean death is intimate such as taxes okay but i mean every time you have something happen to you you're gonna be selling something but like i said y'all know my take on it i don't think it was more so that you know because i'm like it just is what it is. That's a whole hell of a lot of house for three people to have been staying there anyway. So I think Nene was definitely playing into the Hollywood stereotype about you got to have the big mansion. You got to have servants. You got to have uh, the nice cars. You got to be uh, connected to the right people. You have to stay uh, elevated in the community. You, you just a whole lot of mess. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Maybe you can live life now because you don't live that side of the Hollywood scene. And did you really like it? Was it really what you thought it was going to be? You know what I'm saying? It's like you're getting a chance to start over. Are you going to make the right decisions or are you going to thrust yourself back into the Hollywood scene? Which will more than likely play this out again with another mate. And is it going to be the same thing? I mean, you're, you're getting older. The sun is closing down on you, Nene. We need you to make more dutiful decisions. Okay? Because I like you, girl. I like you. And I need you to do better. I do. I want you to do better. I want you to be radiant. I want you to be vibrant. And I want you to have some money when you really get down to being in your 70s and 80s. You know, you don't want to be continually working, hitting the scene, can barely walk, can barely remember stuff. But you got, you know, things to take care of financially because you didn't prepare yourself and invest well. Okay? As such, we all should. But, you know, hey, you get that one bad thing, your savings can be wiped out and you'll be looking at homelessness or, you know, your bank account depleted. So, we just deal with it each day. But, my nanny girl, if you want to stay in that house, stay in that house, honey. If you want to stay in that house, stay in that house, honey. It's your world. You do you. We just commenting because you put it out there. But this is how I had, guys. And I'm like the many faces of Nene, I tell you. I'm like, girl, are you going to be changing like Michael Jackson? Because the makeup just keep getting lighter and lighter and lighter. I'm like, girl, you was a fox just being brown tone. Brown skin, girl. Like brown like that man. But you trying to turn in half into a Caucasian. in your appearance. Looking appearance now, girl, with that makeup. I'm like, damn. You know? And you were just shades darker than that. And I'm like, you didn't like it, baby. Marlo like it. She brown skin, girl. See, that's the color. And you're doing, you know, upscale with that makeup. Because you're really a little darker than that. You know how they said, darker the beer, sweeter the juice. But y'all, that's all I had. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you all. If you like it, love it, and gotta have more, don't hesitate to just hit that like button and share my videos out so it can reach many, 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 many more people like-minded such as myself okay but y'all be cool and i will check on y'all next video bye bye